Music Junkie Press, and we've got a special treat for you here at the Whiskey. We've got State Line Empire. What's up? Nice What's up? to see you guys. Can you guys introduce yourselves? My name's Tyson. I'm the singer. My name's Aaron, the car player. Jay, uh, drums. Dave, bass. All right, guys. Now, we just saw you guys up in the Bay Area. You're down here. You're sort of everywhere. I love it. Now, which one is your favorite venue to play at so far? Fonest. Ooh, what? They don't have this room mic. <laughs> <laughs> the, the camera's on? Uh, I, I love playing down here. I really like the Viper Room. Yes. That, yeah, that's my room. So that's one of my favorite rooms to play. The sound's great, really intimate, and you just pack a bunch of people in there and have a good time. And they just have that room so dialed in. Yeah, Viper's sick. I, I really dig the Roxy too. Oh, the stage is just, for me, it's just giant wooden stage and just the resonance in there is just pretty sick. And of course, the Key Club. Oh, yes. oh, rest may, in may peace. Rest in peace. peace. Yeah. 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 This place isn't bad either. We love the whiskey too. Yeah, I mean, so we can't forget. The Key will be back. Don't treat the whiskey like a redheaded step truck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we love the whiskey. Yeah, I think every place kind of has its charm, you know? Totally. Yeah. Cool. Well, we like you guys up in the Bay Area too. Oh, yeah. You know, Red Devil Lounge yeah. is great. Red, Red Devil is awesome. Red Devil, Slims. And you guys are Bay coming up there on June 15th, is it? Yep. Yeah, June 15th. Saturday, couple weeks. Red Devil Lounge. Saturday, June 15th. It's we'll get everybody down there, definitely. Yeah. Now, tell us, what have you guys been doing lately? What are you working on currently? Recording. Recording. Great. Right. Recording. Yeah, with the new book Yeah, just recording and just trying to get out some new product really, really soon. So we've been just kind of each recording our parts and I've been trying to make it, it makes it all good, make it sound good. And He's our engineer slash producer, mixer guy. We just kind of, you know, yeah, and in that job, he didn't really have much of a choice. We just kind of told him. I just kind of wanted to capture a nice, a nice sound that actually sounds like us live, but without all the, the, the noise, extra noise. So just a nice clean version of us live. Something that comes from the band, directly to the fans, you know? Not without any middlemen. Mm -hmm. We're producing ourselves, so I think it's gonna be a really good product. It's kind of excited about it, so. Doing it yeah. all yourselves, great. Yeah. Yeah. What's the time frame, you think? Uh, it, it's, it's long overdue. Mm -hmm. We're really late. We should have been done <laughs> like months ago. But, you know, I like, they had to wait on my learning curves, because I have to like learn, I have to like get better at, at like mixing and doing all that stuff, so. We're not just doing it to cheap out, but I think we're doing it just to like, be like, hey, we need to be an island by ourselves and really give people what we yeah, really yeah. think we, we sound like rather than through someone else's lens. So I like that idea. And yeah. when you're doing it yourself, you can't go wrong. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you know, and I think just from working with uh, Mike Clean and Slash and yeah. just uh, different, Sylvia, the different producers that we've been very fortunate to kind of join forces with, so to speak, we've learned a lot of little tricks of the trade. You know, so I think on this EP we were gonna go in and I said, you know what, let's let's give it let's give it uh, let's do it ourselves, you know, and really spend the time really craft it and put it together and, and like Tyson was saying, really give something to the fans that's really from us to them. So it's been a really cool experience yeah. getting in there. And it's kind of a, I think it's a, like a step in the direction of actually us being able to keep up with how fast the internet moves. Yeah. Right now we're moving really slowly, but I think we're gonna be able to move faster and faster and faster. Once we have a song, we can actually slam it out really fast. So we're getting that process down, and I really yep. want to get the wheels moving on that, so we can be a faster machine. Because right now it's hard, you know. In the old traditional way, people bands are going, they pre-production out with the, the producer, and then they go and like you know do all this thing months, 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 maybe even a year. You know, they Chinese democracy it out. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so it's been refreshing too to not have a. Uh, you know, a, a monetary time frame too. It's like, you know, we've been in studios where it's $5,000 lockout a day. <laughs> you want this pressure and it's, it's like, you know, you know, it shouldn't be, you know, You're sweating the whole time. It shouldn't be like going to the yeah. dentist, you know. Yeah. It needs yeah. to be, it's an organic process and we want to try, try to just, you know, give everybody a, a window into, a, you know, a raw SLE. You know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Same time, we kind of want that vibe, you know. We want people to feel that 
you know, we're their band, so to speak. Band of the people. By the people. Yeah. 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 Well, let's go back in history here. Okay, now, can you guys remember what your first concert was that you ever went to? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The Peshmo Cow Palace. Cool. And mine was Red Hot Chili Peppers at the Cow Palace. I'm 96. I Dave Navarro was in the band. Mine was uh, Monsters of Rock, Candlestick, uh, Scorpions, uh, Y&T, Metallica, and like Jessica released Ride the Lightning. Uh -huh. Kind of showing my age there. <laughs> he looks great for his age. Yeah, I uh, wish I was alive. You were when so. you were two. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I remember all all the. Uh, that's why I'm going to throw so shit on this bench. Go ahead. Yeah. Into something left. Can you hear me? Drive me into right now when she's burning and it ain't messing around. Calling out to me now. She's driving till the time for down into the fire. What about there? How about yours? The first one? I don't remember a lot. There's so many. You know, I remember I, I would always, I was more the type of kid that was always trying to sneak in on the club and see what was the whole span. Uh -huh. You know, just, I don't know, it was just that intimacy, you know, of having a band right in front of you. Just going to the show, exactly. Yeah. Didn't have to be so I've always been more of a local band. He, he still tries to sneak into shows. He hasn't grown out of that yet. <laughs> <laughs> I need to add two. Uh, one of my first was actually uh, the Blasters, which was uh, before Rockabilly was cool. There was uh, Dave Alvin from the Blasters uh, before, it, like, made Stray Cats look like, oh you know, a bunch of my band. Yeah, yeah. My, uh, my dad actually brought me to, uh, it was a college show, but it was just badass Rockabilly when Rockabilly wasn't cool at all. That and, is uh, cool. and then I went to Iron Maiden. Oh, like, cool. Like, eighth grade and you know, all that stuff. Starting early. It blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see. Okay, if Marvel Comics was coming out with a State Line Empire comic book, okay, mm -hmm. now what would your super, superhero be powers, your superpowers would be? And what would your need be? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you can't see. take mine. Bottomless liver. Bottomless liver. Iron liver. Iron liver. <laughs> just, just. Uh, uh, this is Vortex of Madness over yes. here. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah. yeah, he'll just. Like mind fun. You can make it take to the longest parties. <laughs> yes. I don't. I don't know, dude. Yep. Yeah, yeah. What would your superpower be? I don't know. Now we have to combine all the things we want. Super fart. <laughs> Super fart. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll be the bottomless <laughs> stomach. I can just <laughs> eat the biggest gastronomo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we can eat, drink anything we want, and just keep farting, and, <laughs> and we will <laughs> just twist and die. <laughs> Tricks over here, man. That was like the worst superhero you could ever read. Yeah. 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 I don't want to read that book. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Just in our own minds. It's a really sad man. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys, we're going to share all your links to your website and everything, all the social media. Have everybody come by and say hi. Right on. And uh, definitely looking forward to some shows. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks Thank for having me. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Uh-huh.